Israel just passing a new law that will allow the names of those that have not been vaccinated to be released to the local governments and authorities. You think this is a problem? This is a huge problem. Right off the top, guys, let me just mention to you, I'm now over on Rumble. I encourage you guys to go subscribe to my Rumble page. The link is in the description there. We were recently completely demonetized here on YouTube. So Rumble is going to be our backup. Go over there and subscribe again as quick as you can. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So what is this law all about? Well, Israel's parliament passed this. It was 30 to 13 in favor of releasing the names now and all the personal information of those who have not yet received the vaccine, the corona vaccine, and really those who have no plans on ever getting it in the first place. So what are they going to do with this information? Now, this is going to be given out uh, their names, of course, their address, their phone number. This is going to be given to the local governments so or the cities across. You, get, you know, Israel, you know, they're a country of 9 million people. And already they have vaccinated over one third of the country as it is. And I talked about before on a previous video that Israel has already launched what they're calling this Green Pass now, where they're giving special privileges and freedoms to those who have received the vaccine as opposed to those who haven't. And some of those special privileges include, you know, being able to go uh, back to indoor dining again or being able to go into a gym or going into stores or just enjoying other, you know, uh, regular activities, leisure, whatever it may be. And so that's making this a huge issue now when it comes to equal rights because those that don't want to get the vaccine for whatever reason, they're going to be denied basic rights. And this is complete insanity. Now, this is supposed to last for a certain period of time. I'll get into the rest of this, guys, but let me take a quick pause to let you know, because we completely lost our revenue here on YouTube, we need your help now more than ever to help support the ministry. There's a couple different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal, the PayPal link down below. You could sign up there for either a one-time donation or a monthly donation. They're both a great blessing to us here. Or you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month, the Patreon link down below as well. But there you'll get access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. And we're also including the links to the YouTube videos up there because YouTube is not always alerting you for when these videos go out. So Patreon is a great way to make sure you don't miss any of my content and I highly recommend it. So if you guys are able to help out with that and help donate with our ministry here, it is a great blessing to us. Now getting back with Israel, like I said, this law right now would be in effect for the next three months. And then after that, or, but then there was this little other part in the bill. It said up to three months or until they declare Corona to be over. Well, when is that going to be? Is it, let me just tell you this. It's never going to be over. That's the thing. Now, Israel is claiming that this personal information is only going to be used for the local in, you know, governments and authorities to be able to contact people to encourage them to get the vaccine. They're just going to encourage them. You're going to get a nice little phone call from the government. And they're going to say, hey, we noticed you haven't received the vaccine yet. You know, they may ask you why, and they're going to encourage you to go out and get it. This is what they're saying. It's meant to help be a, a, a more of an encouragement than anything else to those who have yet to receive it. We just need to know all your personal information. You got your phone number. You got your address. We got all your information. Who's living in your house? No big deal, right? No, this is a huge deal. This is a huge deal. You don't think at some point they're not going to start, you know, rounding up some of these people because they won't get this vaccine. I mean, they're already giving out this green pass thing. This is crazy. Denying basic rights to those who don't want it. Now they're going to take your personal information, but they're claiming that, well, you know, after you receive a call, you can then call back and then, you know, say that you no longer want to be contacted anymore after that. And they'll just completely throw your personal information away. I don't believe that for a second. You know, why is this happening in God's holy land? You notice this in Israel of all places, of all places where they're pushing this. I'm telling you what right now, the devil is working in Israel right now because he knows, he knows. This is where Jesus is eventually going to rule and reign again. But also, before that happens, the Antichrist is going to rule and reign when that third temple is built and he walks into that temple at some point during the tribulation, probably at the halfway point, and he'll declare himself to be God and demand that all worship him. See, the evil is already set in place. We know what's going to happen with Israel. So I guess we can't be too surprised to see this happening. It is God's holy land. So of course, it's going to come under attack. With this ridiculous new law that's being passed. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down below in the comment section, because this could be coming to other countries as well. And look, as part of our ministry here, 
we always want to reach people to Jesus Christ because we're in the last days. We see it. Look, look what everything that's happening right now. I mean, we are living out the days of the book of Revelation. They are coming out. What Jesus talked about in Matthew chapter 24, it's here. So how do you do that? Well, it's very simple. You repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from, not just to say you're sorry, to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's contrary to what the word of God says. You ask Christ to forgive you, he will. And then you invite him into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you have eternal life. You become a child of God. You are saved, born again into the kingdom. You're going to have eternal life. That is the greatest decision you're ever going to make. Trust me on that. We pray you make that decision today. Guys, again, I'll put more information for you in the description, including the links to donate if you're able to help do so. It is a great blessing to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.